Dear teachers, thank you for participating in the solar cell workshop last year. I hope by now all of you have received one of these kits. And in this video today, we will see how to use the kit. Okay, I will open the kit. And the activity has two parts. The first part is to make solar cells. And the second part is to assemble cells into a solar panel. So let's prepare solar cells first. So first step is to prepare cathode glass. It's a conducting glass that looks like this. It has two sides. This is the front side and this is the back side. In first step, we take pencil lead and coat the front side. with carbon. So here I have prepared cathode glass with carbon on it. Notice that a third or fourth of the plate is not covered with carbon because there is a transparent tape protecting the glass. And after I am done, I am just going to take a piece of facial tissue and wipe out excess carbon. And that's how it should look. The second step is to prepare anode glass. It's a conducting glass that looks like this. The front side has a piece of transparent tape and in the center a layer of white substance titania that is commonly found in cosmetics. Now I will stain the white substance in the center with blackberry juice. It's now been two minutes and I will clean the glass. Make sure it's completely dry. Here are the cathode and the anode glass slides and the next step is to assemble the two using a piece of transparent tape. Here I have two inches of tape with the sticky side facing up. Then I will place the anode slide facing up and then the cathode side facing down. Notice the offset on both sides. That's where I hook the device up. I will tightly wrap the two. And that's how it should look like. The last step is to introduce electrolyte between the two glass plates. To do that, I'll take the electrolyte, twist it open. Take one pipette provided with the kit. Take some electrolyte out and put exactly one drop right here. And to get the electrolyte between the two plates, you press on all four corners until you see that the electrolyte is going inside. When all the electrolyte is in, we wipe out the excess electrolyte with a piece of tissue. Now we have assembled a bunch of these, so we are ready to prepare a solar panel. To do that, we have first have to remove the protective tape from the two sides. That's how it should look like and notice that I have not removed the double sided copper tape. After removing the protective tape, I have six cells right over here. Each cell produces half volt, so together the six cell produces three volts. Connecting cells is very simple. I connect the 
anode slide on one cell with a cathode slide on the other cell and because we have double sided copper tape in the center it just connects for extra protection I will use a piece of transparent tape and we have our solar panel our solar cell works it converts sunlight into electricity and then we are lighting glowing this LED right here and you know the fun part is it even works under diffused sunlight so making solar panels with blackberries is a fun activity and we have done this from middle school through college and it's really a lot of fun and you can do this in different formats and all different kinds of fruits and uh, vegetables also work like strawberries, raspberries and all sorts of flowers like pansies uh, and before ending this video I'd just like to go through some precautions that are really important if you are doing this for the first time and one of the most important precautions is that when you remove the electrolyte excess electrolyte make sure that you press the two glass lights tightly and then wipe off all the excess electrolyte before removing the protective tape and the other other precaution that is important is that this uh, solar panel if one of the cells doesn't work the whole thing will not work so make sure that you test each solar cell with a multimeter before connecting all cells together to make a solar panel and so as you connect you can each time you can measure the voltage with a multimeter when you connect two you have one volt three cells one and a half two volts two and a half and three so that that's how you know that all cells are working and the solar panel is working thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the activity